The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. This... this is not for me. I should return to all love. He deserves to know what happened here. This area is off limits. Gone up. Otena gone desa do hunzoni? Ayo was a yeza yat da genha. I'll see you later, friend.
Mother said you had taken swiftly to the stack of stones. This is impressive. And it can stand hard against the winds as well. Watch! <gasps> <laughs> A burst of blue air that blows to rival New Orleans' noisy belches.
You are safe now. Thank you. Thank you, kinsman. I was so helpless against them. I even tried to use a key I found as a weapon. But the brute swallowed it. Now I will never know what that key unlocks. How did you come to be stuck here? My friends, the Toothbreakers, were with me. But we were separated when I went searching for what my key might open. I ended up snooping around that abandoned camp. And that's when they showed up. Bears! So many bears! Oh, I must catch my breath. No! Is that... He is in the house now. I, I am sorry, Frey. He died by prey, but he will rest a hunter. Over the waves we sail, cutting the ocean skin. And good stranger, thank you for your help. I heard what happened. We are just about to set off on our grand hunt for the fearsome beast. If the thirst of the hunt itches your throat, will you join us? Into the unknown we go. Join us, kinsmen. This beast bested us last time. We should be on our guard. Mistaking it, it came from the same creature that attacked us. Show true grit out there. Thank you for joining our hunt. Predator or prey, you are what you choose to do. Arne! Oh well, he lasted the longest amongst the rest. Now we can finally return home with our head high! 
We are done here. Uh, if we ever meet again back on familiar ground, you are welcome to join us. No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? B by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time? Telling sagas of their own? Yes! Yes! They tell stories! Yes, come, listen! Zokki, Rarundu de Wasagorori, Neyotzi Zizu, Waharu, Hau, Toyedene, Zinue Rodiscarda Gete, Junkquiro Taguani, Dehni Zarugi, Totni Dagwe. Ya te ni ganare ti osumwaya danu akwegu gasumwa hunzi yot ti zizu ya goda dene kwa da wagu danu rarondo de yesune yirade Zokki, Osumagu, ya untke doda, Ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tunda ya wasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege. Osumagu, ya eant da ne, ne yotzi zizu. Zi wa agoyant da haje, wa e na hadu, zi na hoda wa egweni. Nia de gaderege. Ya ehoe, zi ya eant that ne, zi de jutsu wagered us. Gods, Gonardago, Dago Garaduhas. I do not understand. You want me to tell a story? All right. Let me think. A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son Balder died suddenly. Felled by his only weakness, Mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. 
Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Balde. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Balde. Let hell keep what she has received, Thok said with malice. And that was that. Balder was gone forever. Send on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgadir, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise, a god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Balder to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints, Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny but only its readers, and that we... Oh. <laughs> that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Angwa gara duha se ne at nowara rao gara. Ne ne oh niot ti wata det nowia ge. Gorum brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yes, gods. Gwa, ras nu sage wat neat da herde. Da gwa weird go? Take it and guard it. Maybe that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you, each of you, for all you have done. Aya watski, yeti sot hagun gaha, aye zaha herda da gatnaraga. Rav Jorvik, you shirked your work for quite some time. Yora is no more. My name is Eivor, a Drenger of the Raven Clan. My purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötleson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olavusaver. What is this? I had a long standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs or not, Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. 
There is no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay to linger one season or two with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far whence the whale rode before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land. But for now, I walk the sea. Seems the wind calls me back to Ramdi. Best tell her the good news. What have you got for me today? You like the looks of that one? I do good work, I must say. I have to go. See you soon. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house, and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. Good 
good to see you, darling. You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorm is dead. The Kjotveson clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, king of the Britons. Chailbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chailbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effenhafun River. If Ivar is with him, I'll certainly be needed. 